În rubrica următoare, Tibi Troia reușește să stea de vorbă cu doi campioni mondiali, Johnny Rea și Tom Sykes. Gazda noastră este domnul Martin Lambert, PR manager la Kawasaki, persoană îndreptățită să ne spună câteva lucruri despre fantasticele motoare apărute în ultima vreme. Sir, please tell us some words about the new models which Kawasaki launched. Last year we amazed the world with the Ninja H2 and H2R with their integrated superchargers, which were developed in-house, totally in-house by Kawasaki. But for this year it's uh, fundamental to have a refreshment of the ZX-10R. So we launched the KRT edition recently in Barcelona alongside the Kawasaki racing team because that is where they're based. The ZX-10R was developed jointly by KRT and KHI, so that's a very fundamental place to do that. But for EICMA, we wanted something different. Now, currently, Tom and Johnny are doing their winter test program to go into the 2016 season. So for this show at EICMA, we released this bike, which is the Kawasaki winter test edition of the ZX-10R got an inertia measurement unit which basically shows you what the bike's doing so if you're on the bike it can tell whether you're leaning over whether you're banking whether you're backwards or forwards and it helps you as part of the electronic rider aid package so for us the 2016 ZX-10R is a very advanced motorcycle in terms of rider aids but also in terms of engineering so that gives us a great platform to attack the 2016 season It's our belief we've got the two best riders in World Superbike and now we've got the best machine in World Superbike. So it's a great season ahead for us. The only thing is that you launched the bike earlier than it was expected by everybody. Well, the machine's been in development between Kawasaki Racing Team and KHI for some time. It is very much the basis of the machine that's going to be raced in 2016. So as far as the team is concerned, The sooner they have the bike, the better. So we did a launch early to give them a chance to do the testing that they've been doing over the winter period. And they've only got a couple of tests to go now before the winter ban on testing for all World Superbike teams. So they got the bike when they wanted it. And of course, for customers, they get a chance to see the bike, get more familiar with it, and start getting those pre-orders in with their dealerships. You made some efforts to launch also a new scooter, which is the J125, a small bike for the day-by-day -day use, which is addressed to everybody. Yeah, the J125 is actually Kawasaki's second scooter. So two years ago, we launched the J300. In Europe, that was our first ever scooter product. That was wonderfully received, and we've had good reports from not just customers, but dealers as well. What we're doing with the J125 is appealing to people who are already interested in scooters, commuters, but fundamentally, we're talking to people who've never had a powered two-wheeler before. Sir, thank you very much for your explanation and for your time. Very kind of you, thank you. Cred că nici nu mai trebuie să vă prezint personajul lângă care stau este Johnny Re, care este proaspătul campion mondial de superbike. Johnny, it's it's a great pleasure to meet you. It's nothing prepared. First of all, you had a great year. I was expecting this year because this year I can say that it was Johnny Re year in the competition. When I joined Kawasaki, it was clear that the level of the bike was uh, so high. I was able to do a good job and The, the most difficult part was uh, to try to maintain the level we set in the start of the season. So we faced some challenges, but in the end we were able to win the championship quite early and then start to focus on 2016. But you, you, were, you were not only constant, you won a lot of races, so you, it was a great year for you. Yeah, I mean, winning the races was a big motivation to keep trying to win and uh, because the feeling of winning is incredible. And, I think winning the championship was just a consequence of all the the race wins we had, all the good moments. So we pushed hard until the end. Even when we won the championship, we were still able to to ride in the front a lot. I'm excited for the next season. I'm also excited, and I wish you all the luck in the world for the next season. Yeah, thank you very much. No, no, Mac. Am vizitat standul Kawasaki, dar aici l-am întâlnit și pe Tom Sykes, om pe care l-admir de ani de zile, campion mondial la World Superbike. Tom, how was the season? The only thing I can be proud of is we we finished inside the top three on uh, what I consider a, a really difficult season. So this is uh, a positive. I'm sure that you tested the new ZX10. Yeah, of course. Yeah, tried it, and uh, you know it's really nice. The changes we made uh, to the new Ninja ZX10 app not only benefit you know 
us riders on the track, but I'm sure also the the road riders will will have a bigger smile on their face. Which are your expectations for the next season? Yeah, next season, you know, we need to uh, fight for the World Championship again, and I, and I think this is possible. You know, already we're getting a good feeling on the bike. I was uh, testing yesterday, and uh, I'm very happy, you know, very happy with the result. I wish you a lot of success. Thank you very much.